So for 2024, I have been using the Hobonichi, this isn't a Techo, I forgot what kind, but it's the Hobonichi journal and I've really been wanting to try it for such a long time. I'm using it together with this uh, Kokuna fountain pen and I've really been enjoying it. I love this paper. It's Tomoe River paper. It's so thin but it just drinks up the fountain pen ink and right now I'm using the Shin Roku Iroshizuku <laughs> ink in this green. So pretty. I absolutely love it. I love doodling on it. I love that I can collage on it. Let's, I'm gonna find a page that I can actually show you what's happening. Uh, I can use it for like scheduling. I can have like a to-do thing. And then I always have like a little corner where I write down a few thoughts on that day. I've really been enjoying this journal. But today, I'm trying to figure out my uh, filming schedule, my YouTube schedule. I have a couple of DIYs that I want to get done for this month, but the next month is also really busy for me. There's a lot of trips happening. So I just started to feel really overwhelmed. So I went back to digital journaling, which is something that I've spoken about before and I really enjoy. This is a template from A Hong Paper Log on YouTube. So this is a free template that she offers that you could just download and customize. It's meant to be used with an iPad on GoodNotes, but I can also put GoodNotes on my computer. And my iPad actually died, which is why I'm working on the computer right now. And I'm using it to figure out what days I need to film and how many days I need to edit in conjunction with the trips I have coming up, just so I'm a little less overwhelmed and it's a little less cluttered in my mind. And the reason why I'm using this digital journal versus writing it down on my Hobonichi is because I can't quite figure out when things should happen. So I need the flexibility of a digital journal where I can just drag and drop and move things around as I figure it out. So I've spent the morning doing that. So now I'm gonna head out and have lunch with my nephews and then maybe we'll go by the yarn store again because one of my nephews is actually interested in learning how to crochet as well and he has this goal for himself where he wants to crochet his own shirt. So we he's using my leftover yarn, which is great for me because I get to use it up, but uh, I didn't have enough. So we're gonna go back to the store and try to buy some more.
inside? You know what I learned from editing my last video? My hair is getting really long and I think it's time for a haircut, but that's not happening today. Uh, I just finished cleaning all my makeup brushes. This has been a very productive Saturday. This is what I like to do on my days off. I like to spend time with my family and then run like random errands that I haven't been able to do throughout the week and set my head right for the next coming week. So how I like to end most of my days is with a workout. You know how some people prefer to work out in the mornings because it kind of sets the tone for the rest of the day? I find I am not one of those people. If I work out in the morning, especially if it's like a hard workout then what will happen is by lunchtime I am exhausted and I'm kind of like done for the day and it's very hard for me to keep working throughout the afternoon so what I like to do is I like to work all throughout the day and I know it's time to stop because it's time for me to get my workout in and it kind of just gives me that one last boost like either to stretch out all the limbs that have been cooped up from sitting all day or just to move and give my body a little bit of that movement that it's been craving throughout the day. So I'm gonna go get changed and do a quick workout right now. Because we have chest, triceps, lift, circuit style, which means no hit, all right. same weights you have. Go to reverse it, bring your arms back, and try to keep the weights going the entire time, okay? It's gonna be a challenge, but hey, that's what you're here for, isn't it? Just say yes. Just say yes. It's so much easier when you say yes. All right, chest openers, open them up. All right, here we go. Lay down, rotating press. And we are working in three, two, and one. Press up. One, two, three, I don't know who else to be. Four, five, six, like they say I can't be fixed. One, two, three, your attention's all I need. Four, five, six, don't let it slip. One, two, three, I don't know who else to be. Four, five, six, like they say I can't be fixed. One, two, three, your attention's all I need. Four, five, six, don't let it slip. Ah, it burns. I don't have any favorite. Just give me any kind. Even if it hurts a bit, I 